how people he wants money to come into India. You know, sir said external commercial borrowing, foreign institutional investors investing in equity or debt or loans because unless we have the money to fund our infrastructure, to fund our roads, to fund, fund our power projects, we don't we don't have that kind of money. So we are inviting. Now what has happened is lot of companies have set up companies outside India like Tata's <coughs> chorus huh? uh, that way. Now what is happening is that when the company which is set outside India, when they pay money to their Indian parent company, it is given as what? How does the money come? I have invested there as equity shares and I get dividend. Now, dividend received by anybody from an Indian company is zero tax, exempt from tax. But dividend received from a foreign company is suffers 30% tax. So last year what Pranab Mukherjee had done, he says in order to get the money into the country, I am giving a relief of 50%. Meaning if dividend is received from a foreign company, you will have to pay tax on that dividend income of not 30% but 15%. How much? 15% plus education. Alright? Now, then what used to happen? Okay, I am the Indian company, I got money. Now, I have money. Now, if I have to pay that dividend to my shareholders in India, I will have to pay dividend distribution tax of 20% or 18%. So the benefit that I have received in terms of lesser taxation is neutralized by paying dividend distribution tax. So nobody brought in money from abroad. They kept their money abroad and therefore nobody distributed dividend or extra dividend. So this year what wisely Mr. Chidambaram has done is, he is saying is that if you receive dividend from a foreign company, you will pay tax of only 15% and if you who has received this dividend, if you distribute it to your shareholders, then you will have to pay no dividend distribution tax on that. Now this is a welcome move that he has made, uh, which is good that they say that the cascading effect on the tax, which was neutralizing the practical issue of the situation, should not be neutralized. And uh, what he has done is that he has again this time reduced the security transaction tax. What is security transaction tax? See again, he is fetish for three words, STP. Earlier few years ago, he brought in a tax which was called FBT. What is FBT? Fringe benefit tax. Now fringe benefit tax was only levied in Australia. Correct? And I remember Hindi samaj kya na apko? Mujhe samaj mein nahi aata hai ki akal mein nakal ya nakal mein akal. So he copied that Australian FPT law, but he totally changed it. But the, that was Shah Rukh Khan, he made it into Amjad Khan. <laughs> and after two years, he only abolished it. Then he had also dispute, uh, put in another tax which is called MAT, MAT. What is MAP? Minimum Alternative Tax. Correct? That also he went on raising. Similarly, FSTT, he has reduced it, which is a good sign that, okay, uh, you'll have to pay lesser uh, tax so that you, when you're buying and selling shares via the broker through a recognized stock exchange, if you have done it, if it is a long-term capital gain, you pay zero tax, listed securities, if it is a short term, you pay only 15% tax and you had to pay some amount of 0.017%. Now he has made it down to 0.001% of that. But what he has done is, at the same time, he has introduced another three letter word. S, no, what is it called? It is called CTT. Commodities Transaction Tax, that when you are Buying and selling commodities, futures, options, gold, <coughs> futures, options, there's a commodity stock exchange. How many of us buy? I don't know, but there are hardcore dealers who buy. And they buy and sell to regularize those transactions. He has introduced CTT. 